Hello everyone, in today's video, I will show you that how you can check the protein-protein interactions. Means if you want to know that whether your protein show interaction with other proteins, so you can find out these protein-protein interaction by using a very useful tool that is string tool. So in order to use the string tool, just open your browser and here search for the string software. So as you search here, so the first website that is stringdb.org is the main website. Just click here. As you click here, now this is the home page of this string tool. Now in the left section, there are certain search options like here, protein name. If you click here, now you can search this tool by using the name of that protein. And in the next section, protein by sequence means if you have your own sequence. So in this case, if you want to see the interaction of your given sequence protein, then just keep this on and now you can paste your sequence here. Similarly, other options are like if you want to see the interaction of multiple protein, so just click here and search for these proteins that is list of names one protein in the one line. And another option is multiple sequence means if you want to see the interaction of more than one sequence so you can go for this option so now here these are the other like if you want to search by the organism and there are certain example available here so you can you can like for example these are the examples so you can check them also but in today's video i'm just going to show you that how you can see the interaction of protein which you search by its name so i'm just clicking here protein by name and here just enter the name of protein like for example i am searching here insulin so as i'm searching insulin and organism you can change the organism from here like it is already selected homo sapiens so if you want to change it so you can click here and just within few seconds it will show you the list of all the organisms that are available with this string database it may take some time because it, it's a, you can say it is a huge list here now these are the organisms list like homo sapien mouse and so on you can drag it down from here and as you can see there are the huge list of organisms available here so you can choose your organism according to your need but this time I am just choosing Homo sapiens because I am just want to perform the protein interaction of insulin that is present in Homo sapiens. So just or you can either one option is that auto detect if you keep it checked so it will automatically detect that protein is available in which organism. So just for now I am going to click this Homo sapiens just double click it and it will be selected. Now just press the option that is search as you click here. Now it shows the search result of insulin like first one is homo sapien the you can abbreviation is INS that is insulin and these are the functions of this insulin in the second one again in the homo sapien but this is another protein so just check that protein about which you want to see its interaction like so for now I'm just clicking on the first one which is already selected and just click here continue as you click on the continue button so the result will be just there now these are the results and how to interpret or understand these results. So this is the diagram which is showing the interaction of your protein. So I search for the insulin protein so this is the insulin protein. So I am just dragging it by clicking and dragging it so that I can see its interaction more clearly. Now so this is that protein means INA stand for insulin. So this is the insulin for which I just searched and these are the other proteins with which this insulin shows the interactions if you scroll down now these are the certain options which i will discuss one by one so first of all the most important one that is a legend in this option it just showing you that how you can understand this network here these round balls these are called as node and if these node are in colored box as you can see these nodes are in color so if they are colored nodes, so they are about the protein first shell of interaction and if they are transparent or white like here, so these nodes, they represent the second shell of interaction. So let me clear here what are these first shell of interaction and what are the second shell of interaction. The first shell of interaction means the protein is directly interacting. So that is, you can say the direct interaction is the first level of interaction while 
इनडायरेक्ट वेन द प्रोटीन इंटरेक्ट विद वन प्रोटीन बट थ्रू अनदर प्रोटीन सो दैट इज इनडायरेक्ट इंट्रैक्शन सो दैट इज द सेकेंड शेल इंट्रैक्शन सो हेयर दीज नोट इफ दीज आर इन कलर बॉक्स सो दे आर शोइंग द फर्स्ट शेल ऑफ इंट्रैक्शन एंड इफ दीज आर वाइट बॉक्सिस सो दे विल आर रिप्रेजेंटिंग द सेकेंड शेल ऑफ इंट्रैक्शन नेक्स्ट रीजन दैट इफ दीज आर एम्प्टी नोट्स देन यू कैन से दीज बॉक्सिस दीज नोट्स सो इफ दीज आर एम्प्टी सो इट मीन्स द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ दैट प्रोटीन इज नॉट नॉन टिल नाउ बट इफ देर आर द स्ट्रक्चर available in between these nodes means these are filled nodes so it means that some 3d structure is known so if i zoom for you so you can clearly see that there are structures within these node so what it means that the structure the 3d structure of these protein is available but if these are transparent or white you if you don't see any structure within these nodes so it means their 3d structure is not available next is that these are the lines means the color of line here if the line is of blue color so it means the interaction has been determined from the curated databases and if the color of line is magenta so it means the interaction between these protein they are determined experimentally similarly if the line is green then from the zine neighborhood if the lines are red then the interaction are determined by the zine fusion if the lines are blue then interactions are determined by the zinc co-occurrence and if it is of gold color then it is means text mining means it is you can say it is just finding the interaction throughout the literature or the publications now how to understand that how much interaction is between your protein and other protein so the number of lines it shows the uh, interaction means if the more number of lines so you can say more interactions or more strong interactions are there like for example if i am again zooming it so now you can see here there are only two lines that is magenta and gold one but as compared to this there there are three lines so what it means that these three lines they represent the strong interactions means our protein that is this insulin protein it shows the strong interaction with this protein because there are three lines while it show less interaction with this protein because there are two lines so similarly there are more than three lines or four lines so by this you can analyze the level or you can say the strength of interactions between your protein and other protein these proteins there are also inter you can say they also show interactions with each other so that's why the network is just created here now how you can see the nomenclature or the name of these sequences so for this this information is also available in this legend section so just scroll down here this is your input sequence that is insulin ins and here is the function of this insulin now these are those sequences with which your insulin shows the interaction so these are just available here and here like ide stand for the insulin degrading enzyme similarly igf1 insulin like growth factor 1 so here they are you can see the naming or classification of these uh, these proteins are there and their function now in this diagram here this neighborhood gene fusion so it is just like you can say these are here these are line and here they are represented by these names so in this table it is showing the score of interaction as you can see this is the score that is point triple line point 999 so these are the score of interaction and usually if the score is greater than 0.70 then we can say that the interaction is strong or you can say good interaction if the score is less than 0.70 so we can say the interaction is uh, not much as strong so here you can see the all of this score is above 0.70 so it means our protein showing a good strength of interaction with all these proteins now come to these uh, dots as you can see the black dots here so they represent the interaction of proteins in the you can say here for example in case of here this experimental column the dot is here so it means it is showing this protein this insulin showing the interaction with this ide protein at the level of experiments similarly it also show the interaction when it fetch the data from publication or literature is text mining and in order to know the information you can click here you can click on the dot and it will bring you to another page where the complete information of this interaction will be available and the lastly here this is the your organism that is homo 
sapien so this is about the legend section now if we come to another tab that is a viewers tab here you can see this network in different layouts or forms like this selected one is network so when this diagram is in the network form so here it is called network and if you want to see in another format so there are another format like for example if you want to see the interactions at the level of experiments so you can just click here on clicking here this diagram will be now changed in the experimental layout so for example here it is showing the experimental data about this interaction like in first one it is showing that protein protein interaction which is detected by the experiment of x a x ray crystallography and these are the protein which show interaction during this experiment so by this you can see the experimental data now again if you scroll down so you can again change if you want to see the interaction at the database level so you can click here if you want to see the phylogenetic tree so here is a coaccurance you can click here so it will show you the interaction on the basis of coaccurance so now as you can see here now these are those uh, species in which these proteins are present and this is the level of their interaction more darker the color so you can say more level of interaction is there now this is co-expression level so if you want to see their interaction at the co-expression level so you can click here so this is all about in the viewer section that how you can change the layout of this interaction diagram again i'm clicking on network so here as i click so it will move back to this network form now the next column is analysis here it is also the important tab where it shows the analytical parameter of this grid here these are the nodes as i told you so there are 11 nodes means number of nodes is 11 and this is the you can say functional it shows the all of the function of these proteins like these are the biological functions these are the molecular function and so on and in order to know that which protein is involved in a particular function like first one is positive regulation of glycogen biosynthetic process so if you want to know which protein or proteins are involving in this pathway so just click on the name of this pathway now you can see a red dot is available so it is the node now the all above the node they become red means these red nodes they are involved in this pathway positive regulation of glycogen biosynthetic process if you want to see the another pathway like insulin growth factor receptor signaling pathway so again click here now it is blue so now the nodes which are blue they are available in this pathway these nodes are both in color means blue and red means they are involved in both of these pathway so you can just again clicking and deselect it in this way you can click on any pathway and it will be represented here in this diagram by the different color so you can see them now similarly if you again scroll down so these are the different function on the basis of different databases like here on the basis of pubmed reference publication here on the basis of local network of this string tool here the uh, functions on the basis of this CAG database here reactome wiki pathways and so on so these all are the functions which are just deducted from all of these different databases so you can uh, read them and just if you want to know again i'm telling just click on the name and it will be highlighted with a specific color in that diagram now in the next section that is export section here if you click here now you can download this diagram to your system here if you want to download in the this bitmap image so just click here if you want to download in the high resolution again then the format will be png and just click here if you click here so this diagram will be downloaded to your system like you can see the file has been downloaded to my system so you can just uh, click here and the file is in your system and these are the different formats in which you can download this specific diagram so by this way you can see the protein protein interactions of your sequence or a sequence searched by you so now if i just click here in the logo then it will bring me to home page again now this time earlier i just shown you that how you can search by the protein name again you can search also by the protein sequence means if you have your own protein sequence and you want to see its interaction with other protein in that case just select this option protein by sequence here you have to paste your amino acid sequence so just for demo purpose i have already downloaded the amino acid sequence just copy your sequence and paste in this box now 
this option again organism so you you can select your organism by clicking here as i told you earlier but this time i'm just selecting homo sapiens and just click here search now it will show you the interaction of your given sequence with the other proteins so here according to this string your sequence is can be hexokinase 2 of the species or homo sapiens and these are the annotations and these are search result and i'm going with the first one because my protein is hexokinase 2 so just click continue and as you click continue here you can see the again the same diagram and this is the our protein of which we want to study the interaction so you can drag it and now you can again see the interaction level again repeating more is the number of line more strong the interaction between the proteins so just like you can see i'm zooming it for you so here there are only three lines while you can see there are four lines so it means the interaction of this hexokinase 2 is more with this hexokinase 1 as compared to this fructose binding protein 1 because there are three lines and there are more than three lines so in this way you can analyze the result of this string that how much strongly your given protein is interacting and these are the column are same which i just explained you earlier so in this way you can you can see the interactions of your your protein sequence and these options i've already explained so you can use this string software for finding out the interaction among the protein it can be very useful for your research purpose so that's all for today guys see you in the next video thank you very much